But if, if you had to narrow it down to just one thing, what do you think it was that, that allowed the team to operate in that fashion and deliver it? Yeah, so did? well, so this is a long-winded question. We can talk about teams, right? So I, want, I was thinking about this in the car. I want people to understand how teams are at RO, right? There's, there's no team are, is the same. There's never a team that's going to be built the same. As much as we like to say every team's great, right, that's not, that's not really the case. So um, you know how in football, right, you have the varsity, right, you have the starters, right, then you have the B team, right, they get in there, and then you have the C team, right, and you have people who don't even make it to the varsity squad, right. And Got the intramurals team yeah, out there. Yeah, that's yeah, right. That's playing right. Uh, tetherball or something. That's right. Like, I'm an athlete. That's right. So <laughs> we try, I think, I think this is what's going on, but we try and get as many star players in each team as we can so that they can rub off on other people. Because, unfortunately, we want to we – wanna, hire people that are passionate but that sometimes that's not that's not the case and we got to be realistic about it right um some people just want to to work and you know collect a paycheck and clock out at five and they're ready to go um so i was fortunate enough to understand or to be on a team that was play, a players right the starters where everyone was a starter right mm. and then i was fortunate enough to be in a team where it wasn't like that right it was kind of like a's mixed with b's mixed with c's right but there was enough of us that were passionate about it um, enough of us that were motivated enough to finish that job, and we did. So if there was one thing, um, if there was one thing that I contribute the success of that job to, right? I I would I would attribute it to the younger, like the office engineers. They excelled. They excelled because they were looking at the leaders of the group, and they were understanding the things that they had to do. So it it was incredible to see that like it was really punch list that was not working, right? And we had um, Caitlin, Powell, Caitlin Powell, and we had uh, an intern, right, that were managing that punch list process, and they took us through the finish line, right? It was someone, it wasn't the leaders, right? We all had, uh, of course, we all had a big part to play in it, but it was, it was training the younger staff to make sure they're doing their job so we can finish on time, and that made us successful. So I, I think the one takeaway is, spending a lot of time with the younger um, staff members to make sure they're motivated, right, how they work, understanding what they need, what tools they need to be successful. I think training the younger staff, that's a theme that needs to be on every project, right? Mm. A lot, a lot, there's not a lot of time spent on training the younger staff on every team, right? And so for me, I realize the importance of that because they're the reasons why we finished that job. 